So today we will be looking at echo. Now, what is echo? And you should get, yeah. So they just say to display a line of text, but believe me, it's more than that. So you can either go echo, and you can say like, hello world, uh, yeah, well, yeah, that works. Anyways, and this will just echo whatever you sent it, sent in back to you. Now, you can also do the same thing, but with quotation marks, and you won't see the quotation marks because they're being used as a way to separate the command from different commands. So if you say echo and then hello world, and you say semicolon, um, echo, cool, this is going to do echo to different things. So one of the things we can do is we can go and just see it into documents. I'm going to make a directory here and I'm going to call it uh, trash. I'm going to cd into trash and right here there's nothing inside of this. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to say echo hello world and I'm going to say echo it into the file named myfile.txt. Now basically what this does, if we cat this, myfile.txt, as you can see, it just basically printed this text. Instead of displaying it to the screen, it displayed it inside of this myfile.txt. So basically it's a way to write to a file. There we go. Now if we hit cat from that command, as you can see, it rewrote everything. It's like, so nothing that was there before is still there. So basically it rewrites the file. I'll show you in a second how to write to a file and not rewrite it with echo. But most of the time you, you won't actually use echo unless you want to like test for bugs or something like that and you want to like put the log or the output inside of a file. So if you want to append to a file, so let's say you have that inside of the file, so you have that. Let's say you want to append to the file. Then you can just use two, uh, is this greater than signs? I don't know. Anyways, then let's say we want to append good morning. Now if we go cat and my file, as you can see, it appended to the bottom of the file. So in the next line, then you get that appended. So yeah, appending just means it adds to the, uh, to the back or to the bottom or to the end, you know? Now let's say you want to display a variable. Like a variable is just a container that contains uh, some data, some information. So let's say you have a variable, that variable maybe has a command inside of it. For example, this playlist, that has a command inside of it. So it's going to start playing a playlist. Let's say I want to see, or even anime. This has a playlist, it takes me to the anime directory. So if we want to see what's inside of this, we can just say echo and then dollar and then the variable. The variable starts with a dollar sign, just note that. It's going to show you what is inside of this command right here. So in this case, this is the what's inside of it. If we say echo uh, playlist, then this is what is inside of this. That's basically what this does. If you put a variable or if you put a dollar sign and then the variable name, then it's basically just going to display the variable and what's inside of it. Now, let's say you want to, let's say, write to a text file. Now you go echo. Hello world. And you say put that into my file. Uh, oh, I'm not in the CD. You go back and into trash. And you want to echo. Hello. Echo. Hello world. Into my file.txt. And if we do that, we already know that just going to overwrite everything and put it in this text. But let's say you want to go to a new line. Now, if you know any other programming languages, you probably know that slash in means new line. But let's quickly try that and read. As you can see, it didn't really go to a new line, so it didn't go to the next line. In fact, it just put that inside of here. The same with if you want to use a tab. So slash t, that's not going to give you a tab, it's going to give you a slash t. Now, you can actually escape that. So to do that, all you have to do is just say dash e. Dash e basically means escape and it allows you to escape the characters. So now if we were to read this, as you can see, instead of a slash t, there's a tab there. And of course, then you have an escape character like slash n. And you can read that. It goes to the new line. A lot of escape characters you can use. 
uh, if you want to escape a backslash because now backslash is an escape character you can go backslash backslash and that will allow you to put a one backslash in there because if you're just going to put one backslash in there instead of two then it's not going to put a backslash in there it's just going to or it will but let's say for example this isn't a capital w this is a lowercase n then as you can see it's not going to put that backslash in there so now we're going to put that in there so if you want to escape a backslash it's better to use two backslashes than one all right now there's another way we can actually look at echoing and let's just go here just close this and yeah we can rewrite this because we don't need this right now so there's some terms you can actually use so there is zero and this means then the third input and then we have one I mean that's a standard output not input output one which is standard input and then we need two or then there's two and that basically means standard error now you can use these things, these numbers with echo and I'm not going to go too deep inside of them because I feel like for beginners this might be a little bit too complicated and you won't use them 90% of the time. So let's say you want to, let's go here. So let's say you can echo, no, so echo, hello world, into my file.txt. Now if you cat that, then it's going to say the world but then you can also do this so let's say one which means standard input and then you can say something like let's say hello d if we cat that it's going to say hello d so one is basically the default you get so if you when you say this it actually says this oh gosh it actually says that so even though you don't have that one there, it basically says the one standard input. So that's the default. And yeah, that's basically the basic of uh, echoing. There's not too much about it. So yeah, that's, I, I, I show you the, the basics, but there is a lot more to echoing and you can go learn a lot more by using either man or Googling it. As you can see, there's like N, E, E, and like all of these. So yeah, you can use all of this to so get more about echo and that's about it, about it for beginners and for basic Linux users you won't actually have to worry too much about this but yeah thank you for watching hope you all enjoyed and see you all in the video